JD Tools here. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Gorilla Ladder. This is the 22 foot with the 375 pound capacity. I think that the newer models have a 300 pound capacity, which means that they probably use a thinner gauge aluminum and it's a little bit lighter weight. And this is probably a heavier model, in my opinion, more heavy duty. And I'm glad that I got this ladder. Extremely happy with it. It has been through all kinds of different jobs. I've had it for a good solid three and a half years. And I'm going to be going over some of the things that I do like about this ladder. And I will be going over one thing or two things that I don't like about it. But overall, this ladder is by far one of the best ladders, in my opinion. And I do highly recommend it, period. We'll go ahead and get start right off here into the Gorilla Grips. These are one-handed Gorilla Grip locks. Uh, there's a little uh, spindle here, a rod, that locks in here. And you want to do both sides. I do find these to be a little tough to turn sometimes, especially if your hands are sweaty or greasy. Uh, so it's good that you clean them up, grease them up every so often. And you'll find out that they work just fine. The main thing is to make sure that they lock into place uh, before every time you get on this ladder. Another thing that I'm going to go ahead and get into here is the feet. The feet are extremely durable. They sell replacement uh, feet. As you can see, there's a uh, there's two nuts right there. There's one there and there's one on the other side right there. And you pop those off and you can replace the feet. I believe that that yellow, it, it feels to me like it's some type of a polyurethane. And then there's a harder rubber at the bottom there uh, with a tad bit of softness to it. So it does get a lot of grip. Uh, it has tread wear, almost kind of like a like a tire and I do probably need to replace these feet after about three and a half years of solid use but other than that uh, I just feel really solid on this ladder everything feels really solid I feel really safe when it's extended all the way up I feel like these feet really do get a good grip just overall extremely happy with this ladder they do sell also rollers for this ladder the gorilla ladder and you can buy the extra rollers I believe at homedepot.com or uh, I will check on Amazon if I can find them on Amazon I'll put a link in the description below uh, as well for the ladder overall I would highly recommend this ladder it, it is an extremely good ladder I do feel really safe on it one thing that I do wish that they did is they put some kind of grip tape right here because I notice if my shoes uh, do do get a little bit wet even though there is little ridges in here to kind of hold everything in place, it just would be nice to have a little grip tape. Because uh, sometimes, I don't know, I just think it would just be nice. it just give it that little bit of extra more grip. But overall, no complaints. Extremely happy with the ladder. Uh, this ladder does have 28 telescoping positions. And I do feel safe in most of those positions. I've only used, I don't think I've used all 28, but I've used a lot of different ones. And I feel really safe in all those positions, or at least most of those positions. If I used all of them, I can't remember, but I may have. But I have used this ladder uh, pretty much exclusively for all kinds of different jobs. Now, one thing that I will say is if you are doing electrical work or wiring up a fan or a light fixture, you probably don't want to be on a aluminum ladder like this. You want to be on a fiberglass ladder. Just keep that in mind. And also, this is the 22 foot conversion or version. Um, I have found that for me, 22 feet is high enough. And when I extend out, being a tall guy, um, I can pretty much get up to most of the heights that I need to. So, overall, just extremely happy with this ladder. I take it pretty much everywhere I go. It rides with me all the time. It's just something that I use all the time. I'm extremely happy with it. I will also note one other thing here. As you see this little bracket right here, whenever it goes all the way down, as you can see, it's like one position up. And I put it a position up so I can show you guys. 
but when I go down, this this wants to get cut right here, so I got to kind of push on it with my foot in order for it to slide through. Some of you may not have that problem, but it could be just from uh, just from something on here, uh, like a piece of weight or something that bent it and kind of twisted a little bit. I don't know, but it's really not that big of an issue, and, and y'all probably won't have to deal with that issue. So, but other than that, uh, so happy with this ladder. Feel very safe on it. I just can't say enough good things about the Gorilla Ladder uh, 22 foot. I will put a link in the description box below for the newer model. I believe it's a 300 pound capacity. I believe that it's lighter because a lot of people do complain about uh, weight uh, when it comes to ladders because they want something light to carry, but then again, they want something that's very sturdy. Uh, for me, I don't mind the extra weight. I prefer uh, more sturdiness when I'm on a ladder because I know from personal experience it does not uh, feel good to fall off of ladders. So they call this the MPX22. And just so you know, if you are curious on buying a Gorilla Ladder, I would not hesitate. I think that this is top of the line best of the best no doubt in my mind hands down i would definitely buy this ladder thank you for watching jd tools again here if you like like if you don't don't like if you want to subscribe you're more than welcome to if you want to leave a comment please leave a comment we'll try to answer all the questions that i can other than that have a good day